Hey there, folks. Welcome to another edition of Sacred Sundays on Monday. And uh, uh, we're going to continue the uh, Sacred Sundays readings from yesterday. But today we get to get into the New Testament. We are continuing our reading of the Gospel of Matthew. We are in chapter 10. I will be reading chapter 10 and 11 today. So, so let's get to it. Matthew chapter 10, the 12 apostles are sent. When he, Jesus, called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Now the names of the 12 apostles are these. The first, Simon, called Peter, Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, Zebedee John, that's John the Beloved, the revelator, his brother, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Doubting Thomas, Matthew or Levi, the publican or tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus and Lebeus, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, Simon, Simon the Zealot probably, and Judas Iscariot who also betrayed him. Twelve apostles are instructed. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles or into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, demons. Freely ye have received, freely give. Provide neither gold, nor silver, nor bronze, nor brass in your purses, nor scrip for your journey. Neither two coats, neither shoes, nor ye staffs, for the workman is worthy of his meat. Into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who, who in, it, in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go thence. When ye come into a house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. Whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of, the, out of the house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say to you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for you. Oops. Than for that city. Behold, I send you forth a sheep in, in, the, in, in the midst, or into the midst of wolves, wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Ye shall be brought before governors, kings for my sake, my sake for testimony against them and the Gentiles. When but never begin a sentence with but. When they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given in, given you in that same hour what ye shall what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak with the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. The brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father to the child. The children shall raise up rise up against their parents. And cause them to be put to death. You shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. When they persecute you in this city. Flee ye, flee ye to, into another. For verily I say unto ye. Ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel. Till the son of man come. Or son of man cometh. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he, he be as his master, and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Fear not them, not therefore. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak in the light. And what ye hear in the ear, 
that preach ye upon the housetops. Fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which who is able, not which, who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without without your father, without your father knowing. Uh, Heavenly Father, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father who is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny the, deny before the, my Father who is in heaven. Think not that I have, that I have come to send peace on earth. I have not come to send peace, but a sword. For I am come that to set a man at variance against his father, and a daughter against his mother, her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's foes shall be they of those of his household, shall be they of those of his own household. Okay, a man's foes shall be of his own household. The word they does not is not needed in that verse. He that loveth father or mother more than I is not worthy of me. He that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. He taketh not his cross and followeth not after me. He that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. He that receiveth ye, you, ye receiveth me. And he that receiveth me receiveth him who sent me. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. He that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Whosoever shall give a drink unto one of these little ones, a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, Verily I say unto you that he shall in no wise lose his reward. Chapter 11. It came to pass when Jesus had made an end of commanding his twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Excuse me. Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, John the Baptist, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we leave? Look for another. Jesus answers and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive the sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached unto them. It's the gospel of the kingdom. Blessed is he whoever shall not be offended in me. As, as it departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, who, what went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out for, what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft, soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. But what went ye out to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, my son, my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born in women, there are not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom, kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the laws and the law is prophesied until, until John. If you receive it, this is Elias, or Elijah, which, which, is, which, was, which was to come. He that hath ears, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets, and calling unto their fellows, and saying, saying, We have piped unto, unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and yet ye have not lamented. 
For John came neither eating nor drinking, for they say he hath the devil. For they and they and they, and they say, and they say he hath the devil. The son of man come eating and drinking, and they say, behold, a man gluttonous, and a wine bibber. A friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not. Woe unto thee, Chorazin! Woe unto thee, Beth Bethsaida! For if the mighty works which were done in you had done had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sight. Sackcloth and ashes. But uh, I but I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable in Tyre and Sidon in, in the, at the day of judgment than for you. Now thou Capernaum, which are exalted unto heaven, shall be brought down to hell. For if thy mighty works, which have been done in thee, have been done in Sodom, it would have remained unto this day. But I say unto you, then it shall that it shall be more tolerable in it for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes, young children. For e even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight, all things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father, neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he that who, whomever the Son shall will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that, are la that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon ye, thee, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That's chapter 11 and 12 of the Gospel of Matthew. And I will continue with more readings later. Have a great day.